we're going to open up governance of the site for user input and ultimately a vote, which means that people will have a say and be able to give any feedback they want on the rules and regulations that govern how we develop the product. So the reason why we're doing this is just because it's a service that, that people are sharing really personal and intimate information on. And um, it's, it's just becoming increasingly important to more people. We just passed 175 million users. So we figured that you know, in addition to helping people share information and connect with people, that we should also um, open up the process of how the site is governed in order to make it um, just a, a better process for everyone. So who is going to own the Facebook content? The person who puts it there or you? The, the person who's putting the content on Facebook always owns the information. And that's why this is such an important thing and, and why Facebook is such a special service that people feel a lot of ownership over. Right? This is their information. They own it. And you uh, they, won't sell they it? They often want to. No, of course not. I mean, they, they want to share it with, um, with only a few people. Right? I might upload a photo album that I only want to share with a few members of my family or my friends from high school. And you know, I mean, it's really important that that, that information only goes to those people. And you know, people feel a, a really strong sense of ownership over that, which is why it was um, really important to, to say, you know, we trust our users and that's why we're going to open up governance like this. You say there's a contradiction between people wanting to share information online and wanting to control it. Why? Well, I mean, I think, you know, everyone wants to be able to see all the information that's out there. And at the same time, everyone wants to make sure that they're only sharing their information with the people who they want to see it. So it's important that we design a system where people can do both. So just to be clear, you're not going to sell or share any of the information on Facebook? What the terms say is just, we're not going to share people's information except for with the people that they've asked for it to be shared. And you know, everyone gets privacy settings, which I mean, has always been one of the big different differentiators for Facebook. And what's ma what makes it uh, a really different service for people is you can say, you know, I want this photo album to go to these people, or I want this note to go to these people. And um, the, the privacy controls on Facebook are really unparalleled by anything else. But how are you going to make money if you won't sell or share people's information? The model is advertising, right? I mean, people's information is their own, but there are a lot of different companies and, and, and entities that want to buy advertising to take the information that they have, um, whatever their, their message is, and, and reach more people with it. You know, so our advertising is growing really quickly just because the number of people who are using Facebook around the world is growing quickly, right? So just past 175 million users, Pretty soon we'll pass 200 million. So with that, you know, the advertising revenue is growing as well. But aren't people so outraged because they perceive you as being a private site? That's how you've made your money. Well, I feel like people have a very unique relationship with Facebook, where you know, on most other services, they, their privacy is an important thing. But on Facebook, privacy is central because people are sharing their own information. So people feel a very strong sense of ownership over it. And when they perceive that, that we do something that they don't want, then they, they are very uh, open about giving us feedback, which is why we, we went out of our way to set up this governance system that encourages them to give feedback and, and makes it so that we're more transparent. I think a lot of the reaction that we've seen is more a reflection of how much people care about Facebook and what their relationship is with it and how much they trust us.